I'm in the big barn at the end of the house. This is the one that we want to turn into a big medieval banqueting hall. But in a moment, as you see, it's quite full of a lot of furniture. Now this particular piece that I'm old, um, standing by here was given to us by a lovely lady called Julie. Um, it was too big for what she wanted, so she said, would you like it? And of course, we like it. We can't use it as is, but I don't know if you know, somebody wants a four-post bed in the Templar Suite, the final room we are doing at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and use the timber. So this is what is on the front. These are the doors and these beautiful carved or moulded or whatever they are, um, doors are what we're going to make the bed out of. But the first job is to take it all apart. So we've had a good start, um, as you see behind me there's some deconstructed cabinet, deconstructed cabinet here. The bigger one as you see is yet to be deconstructed. Um, we've got some very usable panels. As you see this is the bigger one, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels on there. Three, four doors, little panels we can do stuff with. Let's hope, anyway. Um, gonna take a bit more. Let's take this one apart. Right? So I know it'll upset some people, but this is all the usable oak we've now got from those cabinets. And these are the panels that we're going to try and incorporate, try and incorporate into the bed. There's some lovely sort of tabletop like pieces there which again so useful so useful some panelling here thin all shaped like the door I made up there the full panel door there's some more stuff we got 
different kind of panelling, but still to incorporate maybe into the bed. So it's taken probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours to take those apart. I wish I hadn't picked one of the hottest days of the year to do it in. I think I'm gonna go and grab myself a tea. Okay, so now that I've got the bathroom all prepped and ready for Ted for when he's finished the bed, which he's still working on at the moment, can't wait for that. It's time for me to start thinking and concentrating about this room because we really wanted to finish this apartment for patrimony days. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. We've got three weeks and there's still far too much to do. This apartment has taken us a lot longer than we ever expected. However, today I wanna to concentrate on this wall. Now I've already started, I've cleaned all the beams, started prepping and treating all the beams this side. We've got furniture here that needs to go into the bedroom. So I can't really go much further than this, but if I could concentrate on this wall, now somebody, as you can see, some lovely little artist here, has plastered this wall straight onto the stone. Now part of me would love to have just bashed all that off and exposed all the stonework again. You know I love a bit of stone. However, the beds are going to go in this corner. We're going to have two single beds in here that are going to form like a sofa, but convert into two single beds. So it's really not practical to have stone there because the mortaring of the stone, um, I, I don't really know the word for it, but kind of malts. And when you think the tea room, it's been four years since I mortared the, the tea room, that is still malting with all of the stone, all of the um, sort of gravel gritty bits coming off of it. So that wouldn't be good having it where a bed's going to be. So I think my best bet really is to creppy this entire wall. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I've taped up all the window, all the pieces I don't want to get to. I've typed up, taped up all the beam work. So I'm gonna start here, work my way the whole way around and creppy it and do it the same as in the other side in the bedroom area, the same color. And then the fireplace, where before I was gonna do it very dark, because the walls are dark, I'm gonna keep that very, very light. And I've decided now to go for very light fabric. Anyway, better get on with this job, get these walls all prepped and ready and painted so that this room then is ready for Ted, once again, to start making the single beds in this room. Poor old Ted, there is so much woodwork to do. However, I know he loves it. Anyway, get on with this, we'll do a bit of time lapse and uh, We'll see how it goes at the end of it. One minute, four seconds. God, I'm getting good at this. Right, so now we've done our posts, it's time to think about the panelling on the end. So these panels, they're old doors, uh, but look at them, they just look amazing, don't they? Um, so this is where the inspiration from the bed really came from. They're not quite big enough. So the problem I'm facing is to extend them so they make they are big enough for the bed. They had a lock on them here, which I've taken out, patched in there, because this is obviously, this is the bedside and this is going to be the outside. 
And I've come up with this idea of extending them by finding bits of wood from another bed. So these are the side panels of the bed and these were um, from an old bed. I don't know, even know where this came from but what we've done is we've sort of taken a piece and I've got to insert it in the sides of the bed to extend this out and then obviously it's got to go into the legs to secure it in the legs some way. So we've created this bit here which will fit, let me just turn this panel around for you so you can have a look. So there you go. And that will fit, it's oversized at the moment, but that's so I can make it fit properly. And they will fit in the side there like that. But as you see, don't look very good on the colour match. And I don't believe this is oak. But trying to get the colour of this and this to match, that's a bit of a dilemma. So I'm having a little break at the moment from uh, doing the walls in the bedroom. I thought I'd come over and see how Ted's getting on colour matching these ends, end panels for the bed. Um, I think he was struggling quite a bit with it. How are you getting on, baby? Um, I think I've done all right. Have a look on that one. I've done that first one. This is the, the panel that's going to be up at the top. Oh, wow. And as you see, we're not done bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. No. Obviously, these ends are here, the, the tenons that are going to go into the, the thing. But I think we're not far away, are we? Considering, I don't think, as I said, this is oak. Yeah, and this is and the two bits I've done because that's I not bad nice at all. Strong, it's got that that is oak, and uh, has yeah. it been waxed yet? Or no, all I've done is um, I have waxed these ends because again to give me some color, I've burnt them, rubbed them down, waxed them because the burnt give me the dark color because obviously it's white, uh, sorry, um, really light colored oak. And then where it's been old, it goes grey. So you have to get rid of all that. Um, and then what I will do is I'll probably wax all this because you've got quite it's quite a bit of damage here with the worm and everything, which is all gone. Um, but just to make it so we haven't got any white bits, that I'll do the rest on there. But I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, we'll do the other one. And then it's a case of fitting these into the legs. So while Ted is continuing with the bed, it's taken him quite a long time, but I'm pleased about that because he's really taking his time and he's enjoying it. Not only are we using reclaimed furniture to make this bed, but he's trying out different skills. Love what he's doing with it. Anyway, I am in the barns. I'm going in the barns because I need to start thinking about lights for this room and I know somewhere in amongst all of this there are a couple of lights that I want to find there was a big wooden one that we had here that we found in one of the barns I'm not sure if it's going to be too long for that room hang down too far but I want to try and find it and see and there's another one that I don't know if you remember and it's in the opening intro to our videos that we found right in the very beginning in one of the barns that I really would like to put up as a wall light. So, um, so yeah, I'm in here at the moment trying to find it. Um, we've got so many different lights and things in here. There's no point in us going and buying new stuff when we can use old stuff. Possibly, I hope so anyway. But uh, where it is, I don't know. It's just a case of having a rummage and trying to find it amongst all of this stuff. Now this is one of the jobs that we want to do when uh, Charlene's here is just have a huge clear out of all these barns because you get to a point where you accumulate so much and it's all usable stuff but then you don't know where everything is. I love this light. This. This is just gorgeous. I'd love to reinstate this somewhere. Isn't it beautiful? 
it's got a bit of damage but um i think with a clean up that'll be lovely but not in that room um but somewhere definitely um look got old lampshades Let's see what else we can find. another old chandelier here I don't know where this came from because I don't think it was part of this house but maybe someone gave it to us and all the uh, the hanging pieces are all in in the bag here so somebody I think must have given it to us but that will not suit that room but it will always go somewhere else aha uh -huh. Right, Ooh. this, this is the old light that I remember seeing, <laughs> very cobwebby. And this was obviously brought at some stage from a brocant, because there's an old tag hanging from it, but it's worn off how much it was. Um, it's got very, very old, attachments and wiring so it would have to be completely rewired i'm just not sure <clears throat> if it's going to be far too long for the ceiling hanging down too far but i don't know if we could perhaps cut it down a bit so i'd like to try and take that out and uh give that a clean up i'm glad i found it but yeah absolutely superb look at it gorgeous let's put that over there Oh, look at this. I didn't even know I had this. See, that's what I'm talking about. You find things that you don't even know you had. I wonder if we can use it on the wall somewhere. That's really lovely. Shame we don't have two of them for the wall lights. Can't see another one. I'm sure they would have been together if we'd have had them. But I'm going to keep that out because we might be able to use that somewhere. Yeah. got two bedside lamps here. So I don't know where they came from, but they certainly might be useful at the back of the bed. Oh no, we're having bedside lamps. No, no good. Ah, here it is. Now, this, look at that. This is just amazing. I love this light. And I remember it was one of the first things I picked up when we were looking through the barns. We were living in the tent before we'd cleared anything and I found this light. And um, yeah, this is what I would love on the wall as you come in the door. Whether it's doable, I didn't realise it was so big actually and quite heavy as well. Um, that would be wonderful. I wonder if it's got a maker's name on it somewhere. Right, I found everything I want and even more and I'm gonna take this out and give it a clean up and it will need rewiring but um, ask Ted if he thinks they're gonna be suitable for the room. Oh, I'm chuffed about that. I'm glad I found them. Weren't too hard after all. I've got my panelling all made to the dimensions I'm looking at.
still needs a bit of work because it needs to be waxed and cleaned up and because they're very very dusty but I've inset my pieces either side but I was making something earlier that I think it needs on the top so that is a top rail for the footboard um, to say I'm pleased with that is an understatement. You see me a lot of the times do this carving business, but I actually drew on the piece of wood. This is one of the round posts that I've taken the sides off. So what I did there is I screwed to the side of the round post and ran it through my table saw on three sides to give me flat edges on here to make it a little bit more in keeping with this and a little bit more easy to grab because I have to say I can't stop polishing it with my hand as it were and yeah I've just I've just drawn a design on it and then used my grinder to shape it and then I just could not wait to wax it because I just needed to know what it looked like and I think it's come out Pretty damn good. So there you go. That's part one, part two, part two, part two of making a bed, making a medieval style bed. Do you think the next one we'll be putting it together? I really, really hope so. I really, really hope so. It's the fact, and I know Lisa mentioned this in the video, that it is taking a while to do, but I really, really want to get it right. As I said before, I want it to be sturdy. I want it to be around for hopefully a few years. So that's why I'm really making it up as I go along, but hopefully it's going to be as in my head and in this one's head. The eagle-eyed of you may have noticed that the panels we are standing by are not necessarily the panels I said that we were going to use in the bed. However, those ones that you saw will definitely be used somewhere. So, all we've got to do is say a big thank you for you guys watching, but thank you to Jeremy Higginson for your super thanks. Brilliant, well done, thank you. And Corinne Green yep. for buying me a coffee. Thanks, Corinne so so helpful so thank you very much for for supporting us and don't forget if you'd like to do buy us a coffee or a super thanks super thanks is obviously on youtube buy me a coffee the link is in the description every penny helps thank you so much and don't forget thumbs up like, like subscribe, subscribe and make some comments and yeah. comment on other people's comments because yeah. it keeps the algorithms going and can i just say um if you are subscribed or if you have subscribed please check to see if you are still subscribed because we had a few people who said they didn't get notifications in the last couple of videos so just check you're subscribed so another week here at the chateau we'll see you again next week for even more of the bed baking hopefully it will be going up hopefully and we need to take a trip out to the bouquant for the writing desk yes and somebody needs to pull their finger out when it comes to the fabric yeah i've got an idea Oh, well, I'm glad you've got an idea. <laughs> well, I don't want to spend... I've got so much fabric and I don't want to spend any money. And, yeah, I've got an idea, but I don't it. know yet. So I need don't to just check, check everything out, yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll see you all again next week. Take care, everyone. Love to all. See you later. See you later. I think this is amazing. Oh, I love this. This is just superb.